It's Bob949, Nancy and Newman. Katie is in the studio. We should probably call you Miss Pennsylvania, though. Wouldn't that be your... That works for me. And she's going to do the Penn State fight song for us. All right, we're hoping to hear this song a lot this season. Yes. It's the River 97.3 Glenn and Bob. It's about to get real for Miss Pennsylvania, trying okay. to become Miss America. Katie Schreckengast from Palmyra. Yeah, thanks for coming in today. Hey, thanks for having me. Does it hurt to smile? So am I. <laughs> Honestly, I've been doing this my whole life, so this is the norm for me. Yeah. I want to touch back into one thing about mom and dad. Mom and dad are always uh, huge uh, components to help propel, especially in the pageant circuit. There's, there's a lot of support from mom and dad. But I think your story is, is even that much more important. I mean, being adopted into this family, I think that that provides a whole other level of inspiration for kids who have a similar story. Absolutely. And really the main message that I hope to spread during my years, Miss Pennsylvania, is to show people that adoptive families are still families no matter what. And that's really the goal for me. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh. I like well seasoned things. Oh my gosh. Around my junior year of college, I started to write blog posts about my experiences as an adopted Asian American. And when I started to write these blog posts, I had people from all across the country uh, message me back and tell me about their adoption stories or tell me how exciting it was that I was sharing mine. Um, and so that's really why I decided to come back and compete in the Miss America organization. Uh, because I saw that there was a need. I saw that adoption wasn't being talked about as openly or as often as it should be. And that's really why I hope to be a national advocate for adoptive families. It's perfect. The costume is just like... You brought perfect. it home? Mm -hmm. Blank and Zach's bed, I think. So he took a video of me like walking and wearing it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. several videos. Several. <laughs> of walking back and forth. Oh my gosh! That's incredible. And it's perfect for when I wave. <laughs> yep. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's flowing. I like that. Bianca and I actually, I believe, went to preschool together. Growing up throughout high school, I got to see her begin to design, and I got to see some of her designs. So when I won my title in June, the week that I won, I went to Bianca and I said, Bianca, there's this really cool idea I have. It's super crazy, but you're the person that could do this. Marching band couture glam outfit for the parade. And she immediately latched onto the concept, was so in, uh, and she made this design look 10 times cooler than I ever thought in my mind and on my Pinterest board. So before you leave, Katie, can we get you to play a song for Absolutely. us? Absolutely, let's do it. I'm gonna play Listen by Beyonce. All right. And this will be my Miss America talent song, so you get to hear it first. Excellent, let's hit it. All right. <laughs> That song just speaks to me on so many levels because like you said, I just want people to listen to my adoption story, but I want people to know that whether I become Miss America or not, I mean the crown would obviously be the opportunity of a lifetime, but just being a part of this system has given me opportunities that I never would have had before, and it's just the beginning, it really is.
got some incredibly good makeup because your face didn't turn red once. Hey, there we go. <laughs> or you got some major league skills. Whoever said with your, with band's your not a sport. Oh, I, don't I know can't. You know what? Your parents have to be so proud of you.